learning equations. I have already told you that algebra spoiled my school years. To escape the wrath of the math teacher, I started entering the class late and go straight to the last bench. This helped me in a big way. I would solve the equation but deliberately assign a negative value. Making it positive took just a fraction of a second the moment the front benchers sent the right answer in a code language specially designed for this purpose. I soon realized that the equations were not limited to the algebra class alone. They haunted me even after I reached home after school hours. My neighbor, who was newly married and living in a joint family, would occasionally visit my mother and grumble about how her mother-in-law undermined her and always praised her elder daughter-in-law, who was not only good-looking, but also came from a rich family. My own math teacher who yelled at students was remarkably soft to one particular boy whose father was the school inspector. So he had permanently assigned a positive value to him and a negative value to all the rest of us. There was another blue-eyed girl whose father was an ex-minister during the Nehru years. My own close friend in school used to always grumble about how her parents loved her eldest and the youngest sister and neglected her altogether. The eldest sister was favored because she was the firstborn and the youngest sister only because she was small. Had I been a boy, they would have certainly pampered me. She would confide in me. When the school gave us a farewell, I took the first opportunity to say goodbye to algebra. But since then, the equations have refused to leave me. Digesting the fact that nothing in this world was free from the pluses and minuses was not easy. My own relatives and acquaintances were no exception to this. Whether they assigned me a positive or negative value depended upon circumstances. When they had any work, I was their right-hand person. And after the work was over, They pushed me to the left side and soon deleted me altogether. The rich would ignore me and yearn to create an equation with the more rich. But the self-knowledge of my own value saved me from frustration. Perhaps by then I had imbibed the good old habit of assigning a minus value at the very outset in every activity that I undertook. When I started working, I had to learn power equations all by myself. There was no teacher and for a change, I was transferred from the back bench to the front. So the boss who was more sarcastic than the good old math teacher, could easily peep with its piercing eyes into my notebook. Read close supervision. I had to continuously safeguard my neutrality by keeping a watchful eye on the values assigned to me by my colleagues and bosses. Whether my colleagues spoke to me in honey-dipped voice or exchanged meaningful glances against me depended on their perception of my position 
in the boss's eye right or left of the power equation that was it was only when the big bosses at the headquarters started playing musical chairs that my value changed swiftly from the negative to the positive and at last my life became musical <laughs> stark reality proved my algebra lesson wrong i unlearned that 2 into 2 is not always equal to 4 our political life too emerges from equations students of political science would have been happy if abraham lincoln had defined democracy in just one simple sentence the government of power equations understanding politics is just a child's play only if you see politicians in this algebraic frame you would now know why our politicians have two faces read values those on the plus side are pushed to the minus side orally not even with the stroke of a pen but at the whim of the commander seasoned politicians are therefore very good in arithmetic calculations this expertise perhaps makes them calculating money can easily change the minus value into the plus these days nobody questions the means of making big money fast earlier they would at least gossip from where has he got so much money now people have no time even to discuss this because everyone is busy making money people go by the face value and adore the rich and the powerful i now repent having cursed my maths teacher his teaching of pluses and minuses has given me a lifetime blessing i am never non plus <laughs> <laughs>